Hey guys, Jason. And here recently there's been a lot of talk and a lot of discussion about pure coin. And one of the things that always is brought up with these new coins, especially pure coins, since it's the third largest cryptocurrency in the world, is that, you know, this distribution of wealth and how does wealth get accumulated in these coins? And one of the problems you have with these coins that is always brought up is in the very beginning, you know, even though these coins have the greatest attentions like pure coin or prime coin or Bitcoin, you know, in the very beginning, not many people know about them. So the people that are mining them are the very diehard people that see these coins for what they really are. They see the, the diamond in the rough, if you could say. So one of the problems that, that exists is people say, well, man, this is the next big thing. I want to buy up as much as I can. And they do. They either mine like I am or they, you know, they get in and they buy a lot of these coins. And so one of the arguments that's always brought up, you know, I brought it up before with um, Cork Coin, you know, is that there's too many people and a very select few hold a large percentage of the coins. So a recent article came up and I thought I'd do a video about it, that somebody was, the article was made about how many people hold the top 100 richest addresses of pure coin. Now you also got to realize 100 different addresses is a lot of people, so you also got to take that into consideration. It's not, you know, select three or four that own a whole bunch of coins. And so the argument was that 64% of the top 100, 60, uh, the top 100 addresses own 64% of all pure coins. The first thing I want to bring up is there'll eventually be like I think it's like a billion pure coins over the next 1,000 years. So really, you know, we're having a very inflationary type coin. You know, so I'm not too worried about you know so many people holding a very select few because there aren't very coins out there right now. But I can see how there would be concern. But I thought this would be a really great infograph to tell you guys about. So 10 days ago, there was, you know, 64% was owned by 100, the top 100 addresses. Four days ago, the top 100 addresses owned 61.58%. And then today, at the time of this video, February 2nd, 61.02%. And this is an argument that I want to bring, as everybody talks about, is over time, the coins get more value, people start showing off percentages of their coins. For instance, if you have a thousand coins and it's you know a thousand dollars a coin, you might say, well, you know, I can sell off two hundred coins and still make a pretty good profit. You know, go buy that new sports car, sports car I always wanted, but also still keep a large investment in this coin. And that's what you start to see. You know, or people sell out for hardware or just invest in another coin. So I want to bring up this discussion. If you look at the top coins, like if you look at all the coins, you know, pure, pure, pure coin, prime coin, cork coin, you know, you look at this fifty or sixty percent range. And really, until you get to coins like Litecoin, which is still up there, I think it's at like 45%, 42%, you know what I mean? The problem is you have the early investors who made a lot of money. You know, I always talk about Litecoin back in the day, and I still, you know, beat myself over this, is I had gotten into Litecoin when it was at $0.08, cents, you know what I mean? And I sold out way prematurely because I, I didn't truly see the value in Litecoin. But, so we talk about, you know, early investors have a lot larger percentage of value they can accumulate. And then when it gets higher value, you know, when it's five or six dollars a coin, obviously unless you're super rich, you can't afford to buy, you know, fifty thousand coins at five dollars a coin. So you also gotta take that in consideration. You know, I'm not saying that isn't to be worried about, it is, especially with you know pure coin being proof of stake instead of proof of work. But in the same regard, I think it's just something interesting we should watch, we should investigate, but at the same time I don't think it's something to be completely worried about. Anyway guys, have a great night. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.